Good day to you everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I make this sun hat. Okay, first I want to talk about the pattern. This is the original pattern that I got from a blog. I'm going to put the links down below in the description. But this is what it looked like, the original pattern. But this pattern doesn't uh, fit me and my mom. So i um adding one itch again and then make a new one like this. Um, actually, uh, I do not make this part, this, this sun head brim part because, uh, I, I actually make it once, but it doesn't fit. So, hello everyone, it's Editing Hifumi here, and now I'm gonna tell you how do I make this brim pattern. Yeah, I know it's a weird drawing, but I do my best in here. So yeah, first thing first, I add one inch in the uh, top and also the bottom on the original part for, well, exactly my measurement. And after I make it, I cut it to my fabric and then I sew it to try it. But then, and as you guessed it, it doesn't fit with my crown because it was, in this case, it was too way bigger. So I make another resolve by this way. And then I um, flip side by side like this drawing. I do not count how much the inch, how much the centimeter that I got. But then I just sew it on my crown and it's perfect fit. So I suggest you before you sew the left and right side one, maybe you should put it in the safety pin and then try it to your crown. So it will be perfect before you sew left and right. And that's how I pretty much make the pattern for this project. So yeah, for the fabric, I'm using a leftover fabric. This is my sleeping dress but i do not longer use it and i already use some of them for my other project so i'm lining white um white fabric for lining and also for the um what does it call it the brim yeah i'm gonna use it for lining and the brim and also some i don't know in the english what is this name but it's kind of like hard fabric so it will hold your brim stay up okay that is the old that is the only fabric I'm going to use for this project. So yeah, the first thing you had gotta do is to cut the fabric. Don't forget to iron your fabric. For the crown part, you just need to, and uh, no, not the for the crown part, but for, yeah, the crown part, the top one, and also the, the side of it, you need to cut two pieces. One is the flower one, and one is the white one. Um. Yeah, you're gonna use the white fabric too as the as the lining, and also during making on this video, uh, I was rethink my design. At first, I want I want to make the crown have flowery thing because I don't think that my leftover sleeping gown is enough to make a one full hat, but then. I realized it can, so I also cut my um, the brim part, but it's gonna left later. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as you can see, do not forget to flip your uh, fabric for this crown part because in the original pattern, it's it's quite long. And then cut your lining. Yeah, cut your line, white lining according to the the fab, the the first part you're already cutting. I use I actually usually do it in the in the first cut like I cut it I cut the lining part alongside the 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 right part. But since this is a small project, so I do this, which is very tiring. I don't like doing something repeatedly. And then let's go start sewing. Um, put your fabric in the wrong part. Yeah, I mean, sew it in the wrong part. That's obviously. Sew it like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm still practicing my English. And also, I editing thing this after I return from the beach. The beach. Yeah, I return from the beach. I hope that I'm not mispronounced that. And then 
if you have an overlock machine, uh, overlock it, overlock the edges that are you already so to connect all the this one part, this wall on the crown part to prevent fraying but if you do not have one then that's okay i just do it for safety and also um i'm trying to practicing using this machine as well i just recently got it from my sister and it's very thankful for that um oh yeah i forgot to tell you that if, when you're connecting this part um you have to sew it around one 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 centimeters two centimeters if you having if you're going to um overlock it for safely yeah i'm, I'm gonna edit that part because my pronunciation is bad after you overlock it now connect this um piece to the main crown um don't forget to use safety pins to secure it before you sewing it it's very useful I'm sorry it doesn't it, you don't look at it it's very hard to place my um uh safety pins during this is it called safety pins I do not think that was called safety pin I'm going to search the google about what 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 what, what is this things mean oh no <laughs> oh my god this is so bad PSA already uh google translated and uh I kind of disappointed with it the translation because I thought the English word would be with so much cooler sounds um, yeah moving on and after you um, straight pins it uh, sew them slowly and slowly if you're still new or scared like me I'm still uh, yeah, I'm doing this very slowly to be honest and anyway uh, if you realize in this video I do not use my usual title about how to make because this is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is actually a documentation about how I make this sun head that I'm so proud of. Because the first time, um, this is the thing that my mom would use during our holiday to the beach. Uh, and I'm so happy because I make a matching uh, hat for us to do go. Anyway, this is how it looked like the crown if you finish. Uh, yeah, nothing special. At least uh, double check if you already uh, finished making something like this. So yeah, right now I'm making the brim part, more specifically the lining part. I forgot to take a video when I'm cutting the the brim, the front side of the brim part. And yes, in previously I said that I'm going to use the white as a uh, brim part, but I find out that my uh, leftovers still have a uh, fabric to enough fabric to make the brim part so i make the lining part white again and for this pattern i'm using uh the the previous one that i already explained to you as a sample and then after uh, cutting the fabric i cut this this um hard fabric that was an indonesian word for that that white 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 thing um i cut it but i um how well how to explain it uh i uh yeah i cut uh you know cut it the uh, this one this uh minus one centimeters so i can sew oh i i i cut i uh, yeah you, you already see what i'm doing and then i adjust it and then i iron it and I cut several part, the, the hard part, to fit the brim parts, as you can see later. You see, uh, I cut it th that part so I can have seam allowance. Yeah, it's called seam allowance, <laughs> yeah. Just for the seam allowance, and then iron it. And then I iron it alongside the lining part. And I put it on the wrong part because I'm going to use it to, I'm going to sew it after this ironing faganza and of course after I iron it uh, put a safety pins on it I mean a uh, straight needle on it and then I sew it I just realized that my camera is moving suddenly I don't know what I'm doing right now but what I'm sure I'm going to do I'm gonna return it here and then I'm gonna sew it 
and of course after I sew it the part um, I overlock all the side on the brim part for safety um, if you don't want to overlock it that's okay of course um, but I advise you to cut the side you know uh, the cut some side of it so when you turn it around like this uh, it, when you turn it around to the right side there's will there will not uh, there will be not um some clumpy things and after that uh, I advise you to safety pin it again for a uh, uh, neat reason <laughs> and then after you safety pin after you safety pin all of them uh, you come back and sew it again I am so sorry for this bad narration <laughs> Oh my god, I'm s I am just realized I do not have any footage where I put safety pins between the crown and also the brim. But basically, connect all of them by using a straight needle first for safety to check if your brim and also your crown is match because it's very a crucial point. If your uh, brim is too big, uh, you can... Uh, uh, you can uh you know like flip it and then sew it so it will be a uh, more smaller but if you uh brim is too small uh i suggest you to uh put the crown into the uh more wider to the brim so it will be look good uh and then after you connect all of them uh, you sew the every side of the brim so it will be look more titty like the store brought one that costs around five dollars and I do not want to pay for that much that's why I make this brim uh, yeah you connect all of them and then I just realized that I make a mistake where I put my uh, I, I accidentally sewed the brim and the crown overlap so that's why I open the seam and then I resew it again like this because I don't want my sun head looks bad <laughs> in presentation <laughs> even though I know the the pattern of it is bad <laughs> and for the finishing I overlock it and after this I'm gonna show you the narcissistic montage for my mom wearing in this uh, this thing that I force her to <laughs> enjoy sewing journey thank you very much for watching and i would like to say sorry that if i make a wrong or bad choice of word um i'm still struggling speaking but i'm okay with the writing because it's giving me more time even though i have a dyslexia but i'm really happy this video turned out very good and just like my vision i hope you enjoy it and maybe see you later <laughs> Uh, before you guys questioning where am I, this is me and my hat. Yeah, that is my hat. <laughs> <laughs>